Find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the Sony a7S with the Sony 28-70 to kit lens. And I'm not actually sure if you can buy this lens with the camera, but it's a pretty low cost lens from Sony. And this is a camera that's well known for being great in low light when it comes to high ISO sensitivity, but not many people discuss just how great it is at actually auto-focusing in low light. So what I've done right here is I've set up a little test. It is uh, two candles lighting up the room, two little candles lighting up the room, and the camera is set to 102,400 ISO, and this 100,000 mark is pretty much the maximum that you want to go to with this camera if you want to get usable results. And the camera is also set to uh, 1 25th of a second, again, to get the maximum light and uh, shooting at um, XAVCS mode 24p. And the aperture is set to uh, between 3.5 and 5.6, which is uh, basically what this, uh, or the maximum that this lens will do, because it's not a constant aperture zoom. So, basically, as you can see, right now in video mode, it only has one autofocus mode in video, which is just called continuous mode. And in this dark environment, in this sort of uh, a fairly difficult uh, situation, I mean, it, no other camera that I know of will even do anything in this sort of condition. But to have a camera that will also autofocus for you in this condition is fantastic. And it does just as well as you can see right now, as you can see, it's sort of, you know, it's very easily uh, sort of um, moving between these two. Actually, over there is pretty dark, so it's having a bit of a hard time. But here, a little bit closer to the candles, it's, uh, you know, it's autofocusing really nice and quickly. Uh, obviously, next to the candles there, it's not too difficult. But over here, um, it's sort of really at the margin of what it can do, but it's still performing really, really well. So, uh, basically, no other camera can do anything even remotely close to this, as far as I know. This is, you know, really fantastic. And in stills mode, we do have some other autofocus modes, and I can actually trigger that stills mode autofocus by uh, half-pressing the shutter. So, as you can see, what uh, I'll do now is it will sort of do a little bit of a jump, and that's basically the stills mode, mode autofocus uh, jumping in and, and doing its uh, thing. So. Uh, it actually focuses for stills just as fast as it will for video in this sort of dark environment. So right now what I'm doing, you'll see every time I move that it does a little jump because I'm half pressing the shutter in order to get it to autofocus on uh, these different things around the room using the single shot autofocus mode, which is the, uh, the stills mode autofocus. And then let's do another test here with the video autofocus and I'm actually going to do one where I'll actually come in a little closer with a wider view and then move over here. As you can see, it's it's really, really doing a great job at autofocusing, especially now that I've gone to a wider uh, angle. And yeah, I'm really impressed, really, really happy with this. Um, thanks for watching. I will have a full review of the Sony a7S pretty soon. There will be links to all this stuff that I've discussed in this video down below. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!